listen my dear so before we are uh, moving to that uh, transient stability or uh, steady state stability we have to derive some equations no known as swing equation and all so for that we should have a base of what do you mean by rotor angle or what do you mean by power angle no rotor angle or power angle both are same represented by del okay now delta it is del represent by del so let's look upon this what is mean by this rotor angle or the uh, power angle okay my dears so this is alternator theta so there will be magnetic field na so at any instant of time the rotor is like to be this okay this is n and this is n and this is s and this is n so magnetic locking happens in between so the stator mm of is represented by fm okay stator mm of is represented by fm and the rotor mm of is represented by fr okay rotor mm of and stator mm of if it lock together if it lock together magnetic locking happens in synchronous machine or alternator and that locking itself rotate that is the reason why the rotation right that is the reason of rotation of the what uh, alternator so what happened my dear what happens the magnetic locking now the magnetic locking will happen so this n and s will be in same that mean the stator mmf that is fm and the rotor mmf fr will be in same manner so there will not be any phase angle difference between this fr and fm now now what happened this is under no load condition my dear this is under no load condition so what happened if suddenly this is at any instant of time okay and this is at any instant of time so i can say that now the case one will be no load case one will be or simply at no load at no load at no load no load what my dear this fm that is a stator mmf and this fr this is nothing but the rotor and of those they, they these are in phase there is no phase angle difference between the stator mmf and the rotor mmf due to the magnetic locking then what happens my dear suddenly the machine is loaded suddenly the machine is loaded what happen this rotor na this rotor will come aligned this rotor will come to new position it is suddenly what loaded the rotor will come to new position and this will be the fr this will be the fr but there is a happen i mean there is a state of <coughs> the s here itself suddenly if you <coughs> loaded the machine loaded in the self suddenly we not loaded actually suddenly you increase the speed of the machine that is the correct thing loader means it will be lag begin that's all that is only different suddenly if you increase the speed of the machine suddenly if you increase the speed of the machine means what happens increase the speed of the machine means we are giving the <coughs> mechanical energy faster than previous you are giving mechanical energy now input of the alternator is nothing but my dear mechanical energy okay so <coughs> if you giving mechanical energy to this alternator more what happen the rotor will run faster but at as soon as the stator magnetic field na which is actually <coughs> rotating in a synchronous speed this is actually rotating in synchronous speed so what happened the stator magnetic field or mmf fm will not come as soon as to this speed now as soon as to this speed now that means there will be a lag of there will be a lag of at load condition at load condition this is fm and this is fr there will be a lag of angle del between the stator mmf and the rotor mmf that is called the load angle that is called the load angle power angle both are same load angle or power angle both are same okay so that is the concept of load angle or power angle because it's very important while we are deriving swing equation we have to the knowledge of what is mean by load angle or power angle so listen my dear so what happened the rotor will attain its new position 
and it oscillate there and oscillate there and after that it will be stable there and after that it will be stable there that means suppose you run the machine for 1200 rpm if you suddenly increase your speed to 1300 rpm then the rotor itself oscillate for some time and it will steady there and again the new load angle will be that is del it will rotate in del loads del again because my dears the windings everything now winding everything is uh, for this particular what rating particular rating means particular speed synchronous speed the windings all are arranged we already in the stator suddenly if we increase in the mechanical speed means the ratings and the winding arrangement is not changing what happened the stator magnetic field is still rotating at the speed of a particular that means before speed the rotor is actually rotating faster but the stator magnetic field may not attain the new speed may not attain the new speed and what happened there will be always a lag of del between fr and fm the machine will continuously run the machine will continuously run okay if you increasing the speed again the rotor angle del will increase again it will increase again and there will be limit we will discuss later what will be the limit of the increasing the rotor mmf eh? to what angle we can increase the rotor mmf without affecting the stability we will explain so what happened my dear see even if there is a magnetic locking between what n and s na here also there is a magnetic locking between m and n s and the machine will continuously run no problem the stability will not affected so in short my dear what is mean by rotor angle or power angle means it is nothing but the angle between stator mmf and the rotor mmf that's all the angle between stator mmf and rotor mmf is called the what rotor angle or rotor angle or power angle okay rotor angle of <coughs> power angle my dears so and see at any instant of time at any instant of time you can relate this as my dears suppose this is my reference reference so i can say that theta electrical is equal to or the simply theta equal to simply theta equal to omega s into t plus del it's very very important relation which is nothing but the ang the angular displacement is nothing but definitely velocity into time because velocity equal to displacement by time now so angular displacement be omega s into t plus del this relation is very very important so if you mark this relation in space how can it get how can it will be see my dear this is my dear omega s into t i can say that this is omega s so this is omega s into t and this will be del del that means normally if you are not taking any reference any reference vector simply you can see fm and fr at an angle of del if you take some reference line then whenever there is a speed omega s definitely at with respect to time there will be the angular displacement that is the first thing you have to note down if you are not taking any reference here any reference here the machine is suppose the machine will only face a rotor angle whenever there is a load condition okay if you take any reference line any reference time with with respect to reference line after at any time t if the machine is rotating with a speed of omega s definitely there will be an angle theta we know that even if there is no del means there is an angular displacement along with that angular displacement if we are increasing the speed what happened del term will be added this term is very very important my dears very very important okay and the explanation for this relation is also that much important okay so for representing anything we have we, we should have a reference line because this all happens with respect to time this all happens with respect to time so we should have a reference line because after the machine the rotor is not the same position when time t is equal to 3 second and after after some time say time t is equal to 4 second the two time in two times the machine's rotor is not in same position which means it's happening an angular displacement whenever there is an angular displacement my dear what happen if there is an omega s only there will be an angular displacement na? 
because velocity equal to displacement by time so what will be displacement velocity into time will happen along with that if you increasing the speed means some more angle is actually it will lead more that angle is del but as a peripheral viewer see as a peripheral viewer del is simply defined like the angle between fm and fr if you are taking a reference line if you are taking or consider for a reference line the angular total the angle will be del plus omega s into t that is the total theta total theta okay this equation you should take care of it's very very important okay my dear so that is the concept of what that is the concept of rotor angle